as we transform from volume-based care to value-based care, we're seeing increased reliance on using more cost-effective types of uh, treatments for patients. How do we integrate that with clinical trials, which sometimes can be much more expensive for patients, more testing, more genomic evaluations, more outcomes, evaluations, increased interactions with the treatment care team so you can make all of the observations about toxicity, about therapeutic efficacy. This creates additional utilization of resources and that's not consistent with value-based medicine. So our challenge is to integrate the clinical trials with value-based medicine so that we can show even greater value for new therapies as we go forward. And lots of steps are necessary to do that, carefully choosing which types of clinical trials to do, making certain that we have an adequate team to take care of the patient through the course of those clinical trials and before and beyond, making certain that we've worked with the institution to make certain that we use their resources effectively, making certain that we have come to grips with all the people on our team that need to be part of that process so that they all have bought into the need for clinical trials, they are fully engaged with it, and if it costs them more time or more effort, that's terrific, rather than, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And so these are trends that we have to adjust to today because they will become more and more acute as healthcare reform changes the value proposition for patients.